Hey there folks, we're back with the red diarrhea mobile. As you can see, there's a driver's seat missing. It's right there. And behind it, you have about, how old is this thing? Like 20, okay, 23 years worth of leaves back here. And then the center console, that's gonna come out too. So the purpose of this video is to review the the Bissell spot clean, whatever, whatever it's called, the Bissell machine. And it, you know, I give the packaging a 10 out of 10. It was very, very nice, very pleasurable to unbox. So we've got Dr. Socket set here and we might get all four of these seat bolts back in. I don't really care about his safety too much. So we'll probably only put like one or two in to keep it down. And we'll show you the rest of the interior. This side's even more disgusting than this. So. You know, you can look forward to that. Okay, we're under the passenger seat. The jack is still here. It's crusty, but at least it's not a dead cat under there. The back seat still folds up. Also, the current method for undoing all of these, because these here screws are non-existent, we just take screwdrivers and break it. Now, I'd like to point out, there's a phone under here. I just like everyone to... There's a phone under the seat. It's been there for God knows how long. This just raises the question of who loses their phone in a vehicle and just gives up looking for it. But that's, you know, I guess you do you. So we're gonna break apart the other sides and get these bolts out. Passenger seat is still in. However, we got some leverage. <laughs> Bit excessive, but we were using that guy and it wasn't doing anything. So we blasted it with some WD-40 and you know, this might take a few hours, but it's gone, it's gone. Just always use as much leverage as possible and make sure you break stuff. Well, I pulled some some asbestos out of the center console or whatever that is, I don't know, but I'm right next to the stain too, so I probably, this vehicle probably had Corona before it was even a thing. Um, in here is just, we have more leaves from millions of years ago. This, I hear that this thing was the only item that survived the meteor that hit the dinosaurs. So, he's still over there working with our two foot breaker bar custom job. And I gotta, I get the pleasure of removing this stanky center console. Keep in mind, this is his idea because he wants to clean this with the carpet extractor. So, that, you know, we gotta get the shop back in here first, so I might do that too. All right. Against our better judgment, we didn't wait for the seat to be out. And, well, we got some money. What is that? We got two cents, a couple wrappers from God knows how long. No more phones, though, and the original carpet. So compare, the difference is shocking. Look at that. I honestly would have thought that this carpet was tan factory and not gray. <laughs> also, we got the low rider hydraulic seat here. This bolt is the worst by far, the far back one. This one we got out eventually by using most of this. And then we still got the massive breaker bar, so I don't know, it's, I hate this, I hate rust. We got it out, evil thing. And we got some Marlboros, it's empty. We got a cent, we got, um, we got a 50 cent off this pack, I don't know what that was. I probably shouldn't have touched that either. Um, if I die, that's why. We got paper clip, can probably reuse that. Ooh, a quarter. That'll be my fee for this. Some wrappers, some gum wrappers. I think that they all, they all pale in comparison to the phone. Bottle cap. Um, the smokes in the phone, I think, are our best find so far. What, do you have any statements on this? The Senate's card over there. Oh, yeah, we gotta talk about that. Where was this, the back seat? Senex card, it's like a quick trip rewards card except worse. Now we also found, what was it, two tailgate plastic things, like the plastic trim of tailgates back there. I don't know why, two of them, this thing doesn't even have a tailgate. Just, I don't know man, I don't know. We can't, and the door thing, the plastic's actually in pretty good condition. Um, and sponsored by the Pittsburgh socket set because I'm cheap and I don't want to buy Milwaukee stuff. So we'll clean this thing out and show you how it looks.
filter got clogged. I don't know if you can see this, but it's like a white fog. Oh my God. Well, you know how they say smoking's bad. Um, this is probably worse. But look at how brand new this filter is. Well gang, we got the goop gun loaded up. We got the drill all nice and stanky already. We used it for maybe 10, no not even 10, maybe two minutes, three minutes. It's already gray. Uh, 10 to one goop ratio, even though that's way stronger than it should be. We don't care, we don't care. This thing's gone. Look at that, that's just disgusting. Disgusting, this is less disgusting. Well, we adjusted our cleaning strategy a little bit. Instead of this purple thing, we got the nice Roundup sprayer. It was Roundup, but we rinsed it out, so it'll probably be fine and not mutate or anything. And we got the drill, we're really getting in there good now this time. Um, this thing just hogs everything. Look how disgusting this water is. It's pitch brown, so it's doing work for sure. Uh, one complaint, the capacity is not super high, but you know, it is what it is. We could have bought the more expensive one, but we didn't because we're cheap. So we got the we got the juices flowing now. Full. The stinking sprayer stayed open on us, so it just we couldn't shut it off. We had to depressurize it. Um, so you know, we're really torturing this guy. What's holding up? Yeah, I just want all you guys to realize that this waste juice could be used in a really mean prank against your friends. You know, they're drinking some coffee or something. Just replace it with that. I kind of mistook it for coffee, so I started drinking it right out of the out of the thing. I don't really know what I was thinking, but it tastes all right, just kind of gritty. So keep that in mind. Yeah, you know, we've got this side mostly done. I mean, I don't even know what that red stain could be. Some, there's some rust stains back here. But I, this thing's done a pretty good job. I mean, you can see the line of difference. It's, the camera doesn't do it justice, but basically it's, it's pretty good unit. Here's the final result of the half and half clean. As you can see, the difference is insane. It, at the beginning, this, the difference between these two spots was crazy. And now, now it's just, gray like it's supposed to be and some stains can't come out you know that's to be expected this thing's 23 years old yeah 23 years old now i mean you so, can see how bad it is over here yeah this side is gonna take some work it's like black well guys look at this the interior in here is just insane compared to what it was i mean like the difference uh, the camera doesn't do it justice we've got everything in here vacuum or carpet extracted, whatever, shampooed, whatever you want to say. And now I'm working on the plastic stuff with some of this super clean, super dissolvo griso, whatever it's called. And I'm gonna do that for all the plastic. I did the door. We got this panel back on. Yeah, a little bit different colors. You can't even tell with the camera sets. That's gonna be good for marketplace pictures someday. Well, you know guys, I'll be straight with you. I'm, I'm here alone. I have no idea where my fellow detailer went so I'm in here watching a progression of Call of Duty year by year video by Nixian. I don't know, it just came up on autoplay on this guy's TV. It's pretty good too. I like I like the style. Just had some mozzarella sticks and some five cheese pizza. Life is pretty good, but we, we ended detailing for the day. We'll give you an update tomorrow and I'll have a video uploaded in the following days as a part two of this. So thanks for watching fellas. Stay tuned for putting more lipstick on a pig.